tutorial four, part four, poison tree show, vitality, toughness, and resilience. Poison tree show creates the swing value in the transverse direction with the swing value in the axial direction, which is only valid in the exotic deformation. See the picture below. For applied force in the set direction, which is the axial direction, for this part, this elongate part, it is equal to L. L is the original axial direction length times the string value, which will be equal to elongation. At this part, this red part, red portion, it is the elongation along the axial direction, not not axial, transverse direction. It can be in x coordinate or in y coordinate, and it is equal to the x direction original length times the x direction string under the force, under the loading, or y in terms of y. And there is a relationship between E, G, and V. E is the elastic modulus is equal to 2 times G. G is the shear modulus times 1 plus V square, uh, not, not square, bracket. If our string too far with original length equal to 1 meter, original length radius equal to 5 cm, deformed elasticity to length equal to 1.2 meter, with a portion ratio equal to 2.3. What is this is new radius? Assume it's all loaded. Using the definition for Poisson ratio, we first identify what is the axial direction and what is the transverse direction, or what is the axial length and what is the transverse length. The original XL length is equal to 1 meter, according to this one, assume XL loader. And the new length is 1.2 meter, and that's why epsilon loin set set, which is the string value at the set direction, which is at the XL load direction, is equal to this value, 1.2 minus 1 over 1, which is dimensional less. And that's why we can we don't need to actually we don't need to convert the length value. For the top one, we can define it as which is the transverse transverse direction and which is the radius. It's equal to the new radius minus five. Five is the original radius over five. And just we are the term we get the R is equal to this value. And the unit for R is CM because we use CM in the this term here to be remind that string is actually dimensional less because it is equal to length over length and the uh, units just cancel each other fatality fatality is the ability of material to deform without breaking under tensile stress and we have two methods to measure it or two values to measure it the first one is the elongation to failure percentage el Percentage EL means that the length, the final length at failure minus the original length over the over, over the original length times 100 percent And basically, normally, if the percentage elongation is smaller than 5 percent, we consider it as a brittle material. Otherwise, we consider it as a ductile material. Area reduction. It is comparable to elongation to failure. And it is also measured at a failure point. Percentage IAL is equal to AO, which is the original area, cross-sectional area, minus the area at failure point, which is a reduced area at the failure. If you still remember the necking phenomena at the later stages of uh, for a bar under unit SL tensor test over AO, AO is the original cross-sectional area times 100% and these two number EL and AL are comparable with each other toughness toughness is the energy per volume for a material to be deformed and fractured toughness is defined as the integral from the String at failure over to zero 
the stress value, D string, which is also the area under the stress string curve. Toughness can be approximated by U strength plus the ultimate tensile strength over 2 times the strength to failure, which is at the, for this graph, which is here is the elongation, uh, not elongation, the string value at failure. Therefore, materials have a large elastic modulus material does not necessarily mean that the material has a tight toughness. For example, gases. Gases is a ceramic. It has a very large elastic modulus because it is very, very hard to deform without breaking. But once it deforms, it breaks. And that means it will not have a very high toughness. And here's a picture demonstrate the reason why, yes, large elastic modulus does not necessarily mean that the material has a high toughness. Here, resilience is similar to toughness, and it is the storing of the elastic energy upon loading, or the releasing energy upon unloading. And it is basically the, you can, you can say that it is, like likely the toughness value, but it is only confined in the elastic region. And modulus of resilience is the mass elastic energy that can be observed, absorbed. U is equal to equal to the integral from of the stress value d string from the string value at the u string at the u stress value which is shown in curve here, shown in the graph here, to zero, which is the origin, and it is also equal to the area here. And it can be also approximated by, by a following equation, 2.5 times U, U stress value times the string at the U stress value, which is shown here, which is, and this value is basically a triangle, using a triangle. 